What's going on everybody? It's your boy Fox back in the house. I can say that with vigor, with gusto, with integrity, because I am here on time. Because you know last week and a few weeks before that I was Hey, let's jump straight into the chapter. Episode 152, ep chapter 152. Who, who cares? Last episode, at the end, Serafina was talking to Elaine, and Elaine was trying to debate if she was going to be a snitch. No snitching. Let's go. We on the rooftop. Arlo. I got a special video for him. Special video for him. My sis is going to be coming to Wilson next year. Take care of her for me, all right? Hey, he ain't doing a good job. <laughs> you thinking about what John said? Ooh, who walked upstairs? Elaine! We haven't seen Elaine in a minute. Elaine, what are you doing up here? Tesco said. Uh, I came to check on you. Arlo, is everything all right? You told me, Sa you told Serafina about John? He's like, I tried. It didn't really work out the way I wanted it to. Yeah, but uh, I shouldn't have. She has already been through enough. There you go. Leave her out of this. I can't keep dragging people into this. I'm the one who pushed John, so I'll take responsibility for it. Good on you, mate. Good on you. I don't think I have any subs that are in Australia, and if I do, hello. From America. We do not talk like these. <laughs> I'm dethr If dethroning me will put an end to his rampage, that's fine. But it, it won't. But he don't know that. We know that. He don't know that. <laughs> what has gotten into him? I've never seen Arlo so defeated before. Well, I mean, when you get cornered like a rat, and you know, like this, you know, you kind of lose hope for a little bit. I mean, you've been beaten up physically. You can't fight back physically or mentally because everything, and then you realize it's all your fault. You are the catalyst. Had you left him alone like he tried to warn you, then this wouldn't be an issue. Things would just be fine. Now, I don't know what Remy would be doing. She'd probably be still doing the ecstatic thing because of Ray and all that. But, you know, for the most part, the school life would be fine. The outside world stuff, you know, would probably still be in turmoil. <laughs> she leans on the gate. It's not a gate. It's a fence. What's to say he'll stop there? He's like, what? I think by handing your title over to him, you'd actually be abandoning all, your, all, the, all responsibility. You'd be running away. The Arlo I know wouldn't stand, would stand his ground. He did stand his ground. He got beat for it. He'd stop blaming himself. You should stop blaming yourself, but in this case, it's actually, it is his fault. Like, plain and simple. It is. He set the wheels in motion. Yes, it's important to forgive yourself. I'm going to save that for another video. He would move on and find a way to regain control over the situation. That is healthy. You should do that. But st That's bold of you, Elaine. Huh? What? I'm just speaking out loud. Trying to tell me how to do my job. Uh, uh, no. Yeah, you are. Please don't take it the wrong way. I was just voicing my thoughts. I didn't mean anything by it. Yes, you did. Otherwise, you wouldn't have said nothing. Jumping straight into it. Let's 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 see what Arlo's gonna do today. We got Remy. She's still mad about the conversation. <laughs> With everything that's going on here, you consider this place safe? And she finally finna start. You are fucking blind. You guys are the ones who start the fights. And she finna st finally start looking around the school and actually opening, open your eyes. What's that one mean? I can see you're all arrogant and entitled and you abuse your power. Everyone's better off without you. Arrogance, entitlement. And she's about to, she's starting to hear it now. She's finally got her ears tuned tuned to it. You finally got your stuff on the right radio station. Yeah, perfect example. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 
This is just a misunderstanding. Yep. Yeah, right. Misunderstanding my butt. You did that on purpose. I didn't. Hey. Oh, Remy. Uh, I'm so sorry. I, he was he was acting up and I was delivering punishment accordingly. Remy. I said it twice. Whatever. Uh, what's going on over here? Oh, gosh. You won't believe this guy. I was walking down the hallway and then he bumped into me and literally shot, shot me the dirtiest look. Really? <laughs> Can you blame him? You said this was a misunderstanding? Tell, tell me what happened. Uh, well, it was an accident. I was spacing out. Then we made a quick eye contact and I think she misinterpreted. No, that's not true. I saw what I saw. Even if it, even if he did shoot you a dirty look, what, what's the point of beating him up? <laughs> uh, hey, there's no need to go so aggressive over, get so aggressive over this. She's like, what? What are you talking about, Remy? Why are you siding with him? You see how this hallway is completely empty. There's no way he did bump into me on purpose. Yeah, but he, just, he said it was an accident, and he already apologized. Why not just let this one go? She's, she, <laughs> she is shook it. To the core right now. She is like, what? <laughs> Did, you know when you know when your computer messes up, you get the blue screen of death. Then, then it's just like, just let it go. That's not. And she, her head about to explode. He's he's same way too. He's like, what? She's like, nah, fine, exactly. Look, no, let me go back. You see this right here? The only reason she said fine is because of who Remy is. That is not because. Oh yeah, she's right. It was. It was because this was blown out of proportion and I was tripping. No, this was like, you got lucky Remy said something. I'm going to come get you later. Fine. Then I'll head back to class. <laughs> and I hope Remy doesn't think she actually did a good job here. I mean, she did, but she didn't. The entitlement. I saw it. She really didn't find anything wrong with abusing a low-tier student. You okay? Uh, yes, uh, thank you. Sorry for causing all... You all this trouble. I should have been more careful. It's fine. I should probably get going. Thank you. Do you? I hope. I I'm, I can't wait to talk to the uh, to the to the jokers about this. To the other jokers. <laughs> How do we fix something like this? That is the million dollar baby question. Yeah, I don't know. Then he just stopped coming back to the room altogether. Guess he decided he doesn't want to be around me. So he's crashing somewhere else. Probably in Eisen's room or something. Ooh, she's thinking. What are you thinking? I need I need you to talk to him. I've never seen Arlo act like that before. Why does he insist on targeting John? He can't possibly be that petty. Could it be something else? There might be some words. There might be some weight to what he said. This chapter is kind of actually this chapter is kind of long, kind of juicy. I like it. Something that happened between them while I wasn't around. During my suspension, he played. He played me. He took me to a secluded site, and two of his goons ambushed me. They beat me and told me to act my level. John said he he was picked on, and it broke him down. It's true, but he was. But was he telling the truth? Yes, he was on that. On that one, he was telling the exact truth. Except for how he retaliated and beat the mess out of them. But, you know, he, they did break him down. Now that I think about it, John isn't the only one acting differently. Arlo has been too. Since I quit, uh, since I quit the Royals, we've hardly spoken. But after I lost my ability, he's been oddly protective of me. Whenever I run into trouble... Girl, it's been a lot too. Girl, you've been through a lot. Good night. <laughs> that that made me so upset. The, the scene right here and all that. He's always been there. To, uh, he's always there to back me up somehow. The way he acts around John too. She's starting to put two and two together. Even as she was getting beaten. You did absolutely nothing. Worthless scum. I've never met someone so spineless in all my life. Why did he go off on him like that? What was the what was he expecting John to do? Fight Zegal? 
John can't defend himself. He's just a John is Joker. <laughs> it's sinking in. No. No, it's a lie. Arlo must be Arlo's just messing with me. Hello. Ha hello. Say are you there? You're really spaced today. What are you thinking about? Don't get afraid. Hey John. You're not Joker, are you? Huh? What? Of course not. <laughs> Say, are you okay? He played it off well. Me, Joker, you can't be serious. <laughs> she shook it. It makes me so sad to see her look at John that way. You're right. I don't know what came over me. I'll say. Where the hell did you get that idea from? <laughs> Arlo pulled me aside yesterday. He's like, oh, okay. Okay, I got some pretty boy now. Him again? What did he say? This crap about you being Joker. Ask me to talk to you about it. Ugh, I don't get what his damn problem is. Why, why won't he just leave us alone? Yeah, I told him off. I don't think he'll be, he'll bug us for a while. Good, I'm sick of his shenanigans. How often do you hear that word, shenanigans? I'm tired of his shenanigans. I say they work a lot, though. Just ignore everything he says. Don't let him get to you. Yeah, I know. All right, let's not think about this anymore. I want to finish our workout, <laughs> our work early so we can grab drink. Grab a drink afterwards. Why can't I speak? It's still on her mind. And so, this chapter, it was good. I had no problem with it. It's still, it was still a slow-paced chapter. Just pretty much Ar Elaine checking up on Arlo and all that. Remy is finally starting to open her eyes. Open your eyes to the actually what's going on. And like she said, she saw the entitlement and all that. But I'm like, you may have saw the entitlement, but did you see the fear in the low tear? Even I'm not even talking about when the other chick was there. I'm talking about did you see the fear on him when he was just speaking to you? And you two had no beef or problems at all. You were just, you know, interjecting and making sure he didn't get his his head smashed in. <laughs> Probably for the umpteenth time uh, this week. You feel me? But you know, I I got a lot of things. So if y'all got, if you don't know, next week is a highly anticipated chapter. Only reason because some of some of my subs and some of Digi subs, some of Ty subs, and some of Steph subs have been telling us that we need to collaborate on this chapter next week and the chapter after that. So that is coming. As of now, as a part of my recording, that is still set up to go happen next week. So look forward to that. Um, tell me how you guys uh, felt about this chapter. Mainly, how, tell me how you felt about the scene with Remy and the two, the, the, I don't know what that girl was, whether she was mid tier, low tier, whatever, but you know, how the situation goes. Do you feel like Remy is actually starting to, you know, get a fully fully grasp of the situation that is really going around the school and all that? But, you know, uh, do the stuff that I normally say to do. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications when I drop more videos. And with all that being said, it's your boy, Fox. Fox. <laughs>